Before we look at the five different kingdoms, there is one group of organisms we should look at first. They are called viruses. While Bob is enjoying the fresh air, he inhales a virus. This is the influenza virus. It's what causes what is commonly called the flu. The first thing it does, it attaches itself to a cell. Viruses do not belong to any of the five kingdoms because they are not living organisms. They are not made up of cells. They do not perform normal functions like respiration or growth. And even though they look like a cell, they do not have any organelles or nucleus. It is usually covered by a protein coat and contains genetic material in the form of DNA or RNA. A virus needs a host cell in order to function. And once it has found one, it injects its genetic material into the host cell, taking control of the cell's functions. The virus now controls the cell and uses its resources to reproduce, since it cannot reproduce on its own. The virus continues to reproduce until the cell bursts, releasing more viruses to neighboring cells, causing the virus to spread throughout the organism. And now, Bob has contracted influenza, or the flu. What makes viruses both special and very dangerous is that they are inactive, or dormant, outside of a host cell, but they are not all bad. Through medical research and experimentation, scientists have found a way to use viruses in a helpful way. Virotherapy is the treatment where viruses are reprogrammed to treat diseases instead of causing them. These viruses then help to destroy the harmful viruses and restore the organism's normal functions. Virotherapy is even used in the treatment of cancer. Viruses can also be used to transfer genes from one organism into another in genetic engineering. Viruses are even involved in carbon cycling in the atmosphere. But those are just the good ones. Bad viruses attack living cells and destroy them. They can multiply quickly and spread easily through the air or by contact and can cause diseases like AIDS, chickenpox, cancer, and herpes. So, even though they are not part of any kingdom, they have a big impact on living organisms.